Hello everybody, it's me, Captain Thinker, and welcome back to another video here at Captain Thinker Studios. Today is the November 2017 Challenge of the Month, Under the Surface. So for this one, I decided, what is it like to be an exercising person or gym freak? And what is it really going, down, going on under the surface behind those big muscular arms? So, um... It was a pretty simple idea, and I got it as soon as I started watching Jazz's video, and I thought, well, this could be cool. So I took my usual approach for this, where I sketched everything out very lightly, and then I went in with a more refined sketch, trying to add different parts of the face, body, muscular structure, etc. And then I went on to line work, and then color. Something that I really spent uh, a lot of time working on were the actual muscles, because that's what's really being emphasized here. And then I had to spend a lot of time understanding the skeletal system. Now I haven't added everything, and I do apologize for that, but I thought it looks cool as sort of an x-ray thing where it only shows the specifics and most likely what's broken. Uh, what I liked about this is, and the reason that this is my favorite, is that there are many things and many themes that can be interpreted from this. It can show that what's hiding behind those muscles isn't just effort, it's also broken bones and injuries. Um, there are things that aren't seen, and those make a difference. And sometimes behind those muscles is just a lot of pain that's being hidden under that smug facade. So now, in the line work part, I'm trying to be very minute and, well, no, fine and minute. Finite? I don't know what to say. But I'm trying to make sure that the lines aren't too big and overbearing, just trying to make sure it's the bare minimum, so it looks clean and it gives a bit better look. Um, that is accomplished, and I feel quite happy with how it is. Because my sketching is so thick, because I feel like I'm heavy-handed a bit, uh, I have to make the brush size even smaller. Uh, for the muscles, I was really happy with the end result, and I think it's just because I tried to outline where the bicep is and isn't. With the coloring, I tried out this really new technique, well, it's not a new technique, but it is for me, where I went through and colored everything with a gray, and then I did the shadows, highlights, just doing everything inside gray tone, and then adding an overlay layer and coloring with that. This sort of shows me where the shadows are and how they look as is, and it helps me you know, just differentiate, because when you're so obsessed with the color, it becomes a bit confusing, and adding this helps. So then I did, repeated the same thing, but for the skin, I had to actually change the shading, because this skin tone that you can see right now was too dark for my liking, so I thought, you know what, why not just retweak the coloring, and in the end, I know this wasn't the best way to do it, but I ended up reshading everything. I know I could have just changed a few of the colors somehow, but it's not really my skill. So I messed around with it for quite a bit, and then I went, nah, let's just recolor this, the grey tone is too dark. And it works for the shirt and whatnot, but when it comes to the skin, it's not the best. So I, I, said the fat, I set the flat tone again, and then went through just making sure everything's correct, redoing this hand and face. I believe that this time it looked even better, because it fit the skin tone and, you know, the character looks nicer now. But the shading itself was better, because I knew what I was going for. I don't know why I added the broken heart, it doesn't really fit with the theme, but maybe I thought may at the time that this would help. Now I used the dodge and burn tool quite a lot after, and that's something I hadn't been, I hadn't been using before, so it was a nice little thing, trick that I learned, and definitely will plan on using this in the future. It can just change the highlights without having to worry about color and tone and shade. It's, you know, just practically a band-aid which fixes things without you having to actually work on it. The background was, again, very simple. I tried to go for a cartoony look. The no pain, no gain was a bit of a hint to the fact that, you know, the other half's gonna be broken, so there's gonna be a lot of pain. The dumbbells were quite fun to do. I didn't really know how to do them, and they were painstakingly <sighs> tiring because I had to draw on each and every one, and I thought it would just be cool if I had this sort of rack of dumbbells, which... I thought worked. They didn't have to have much detail because the main focus would be on the character itself anyways, but uh, needless, it still took about half an hour to an hour, which, to put into perspective, was how long it took to do most of the regular line work and a bit of the color for the actual character. 
besides that, I just had to do the other half, which was a skeleton. And I thought it would be cool if I did that as a sort of um, x-ray type look. And you can see me doing that now. Oh, actually, right now I'm doing the light, which I thought it would be nice to have this sort of beams showing through one singular light source. It's just a tiny bit of detail that looks cool. Uh, originally, I thought maybe I could have some, you know, girls just standing behind him, uh, just awing in how he looks, but I thought, nah, that would be a bit weird. For the shading of the um, background of the skeletal side, I just did a bit of light painting, and then I went through with a the with the smudge tool and just smudged everything so it looked flat and clean. Uh, for some reason, when I saved and started working on it the day after, it didn't save the skeletal side, so I thought, okay, why not do the inking, uh, do the inking again? The inking I did inside a white tone because the background itself would be black, and I thought it would be cooler. And if you look at x-rays, the bones show up with a bluish tone, so I thought, okay, well, if I'm doing this all in, you know, gray, uh, with, with doing the line work in white, why not do the shadows in blue? And in the end, I believe that really paid off. After I did the shadows and the actual line work, I went through with the dodge and burn tool and just, you know, used that to make everything look prettier. Right, so that is me done with this challenge of the month. I guess that would be all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I hope you guys you're, participate inside the challenge of the month yourself. If you do, then leave a comment down below uh, with a link to your video, and I will definitely go check it out. And leave any tips, tricks that you've learned in, during the challenge of the month down below as well, because I would love to learn. I have a series dedicated to it learning curve the link will be inside the description and i guess that's all for today guys see you next time don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you later bye